Hi, I'm Scott Jordan. This is my video blog number three, and uh, it's a, a takeoff from some of the questions that were raised from yesterday's sneak preview of the Tactical 5.0, which is a tentative name. Uh, we do need to come up with a better name for it, a different name. It's no longer uh, designed especially for law enforcement, but uh, really more or less an all-around winter jacket with uh, an eye towards the skier. Um, and uh, it's, it's an awesome jacket. I'm going to show it to you again in a second. I know it's tough to see on the video here, but um, I'm anxious for uh, your thoughts and uh, comments on this. Basically, one of the comments posted was a disappointment that we were no longer going to offer that particular jacket with zip-off sleeves. And I wanted to explain my reasoning uh, as to why we're not going to include zip-off sleeves in that product. Um, in, in sum, you know, since it's intended for a winter jacket uh, and primarily a ski jacket, I, I did not think that, that there was as much of a need for the versatility of having removable sleeves. Uh, it's intended to be layered with a new fleece product that we're designing that will be a removable sle fleece that will not zip into this fleece, into this tactical jacket, unlike the last version. Um, I just found personally that you know, zipping them in together uh, limited the, the opportunities to get at certain pockets even though we had methods to do that. It just made it a little bit more difficult and sort of defeated the versatility of it, of it all. But when you design a, a, a jacket that has um, removable sleeves, uh, by nature, you know, there's going to be revealed seams here. And I found that it, it, wind and the elements can get into the, the seams associated with the zippers a lot more than they can if you just don't include zip-off sleeves uh, for, for this particular product. Um, that's the primary reason. Moreover, I also think that the design lines in this particular product are a lot sleeker without the removable sleeves. And I, I think you'll agree once you see some better higher resolution pictures, which will be forthcoming um, as well. Um, I think you can design a much cleaner look in this product without removable sleeves. Now, it doesn't mean that we're moving away from removable sleeve products. In fact, we still have the Evolution uh, and uh, as well as the Essential, which will remain removable sleeve products. And one of the things that I like best about the way in which we've designed removable sleeves is that they don't look like removable sleeve products uh, when they have the sleeves on or off for that matter. You know, most typical removable sleeve jackets, to me, when their sleeves are on, it looks awkward. It doesn't look normal. It looks like, okay, are you a jacket? Are you a vest? Just make up your mind. We've designed it in such a fashion that it looks normal in either case. So, you know, I, I think... Um, I think after you, you, you see the product, you, you'll understand it's been uh, many years in the making, this particular jacket. Um, it's a ski jacket, first and foremost, with a powder skirt and tons of pockets. We have not done our pocket count on this jacket yet, but we're incorporating a lot of new and interesting uh, technologies and fabrics. Let me show it to you one once again here. I'm wearing the Fleece 4.0 right now underneath, which is one of my favorites. But you can see um, we've got a really cool, you know, subtle. This is the only real exterior branding uh, logo here, the tech logo. But the seams, I can't tell the lighting's good enough. But it's just a cleaner, all-around look. We followed the the design of the Evolution inside, outlining some of the pockets with this red. And I get this great new clear touch fabric that enables you to protect your device as well as control and see who's calling very easily uh, through it and you can control it right through this fabric. More on that later. In any event, um, I hope you en enjoyed uh, this podcast, uh, uh, well not a podcast, video blog I suppose. Um, and uh, we'll comment on it and look forward to many more to come. A little heads up, uh, next week when I'm in Chicago, um, uh, I'll try to uh, post a, a blog entry daily, but uh, as well as some comps of some of the images that we're working on. But um, if we don't, you'll forgive me. And I'm using a little different technology, so let me know if the resolution uh, looks better on your end. Um, I appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.